Hi everyone, my name is Mark Batty, I'm the Edexcel History Subject Advisor. This video is to support Edexcel GCSE History students to help clarify the exam timetable in Summer 22. So this year we have changes in place due to COVID disruption, which make the exam timetable more complicated than usual. So in this video, I'm going to explain how some of these changes are reflected in the timetable, just to make sure you're clear about which exams you're sitting and when. Now, before we look at the timetables, I just want to talk a little bit about the Summer 22 changes. So in a normal exam series, Edexcel GCSE history students must sit four topics. However, in Summer 22, you only need to sit three topics. And in most cases, your teacher will have decided which topic to drop this summer. Um, different schools will have dropped different topics for different reasons. And on the screen, you can see some examples of some imaginary students, and it shows you the topics that, that could be dropped and how they're different. So as you can see, paper three, um, in this case, I've selected Weimar Nazi Germany, that's compulsory, so everyone has to do paper three. But then the different students, X, Y and Z, have all dropped a different topic. So student X has dropped the period study, student Y has dropped the British depth study, and student Z has dropped the paper one thematic study. So because of, of all these differences in the topics being dropped, we've had to set up the specification into two routes A and B. And as you can see on the table on the screen, students who are dropping either the paper two period study or the paper two British depth study are essentially being entered for route A, which has an examination code of one HIA. And students who are dropping paper one, the thematic study, are entered for examination code one HIB. Now, these different codes just help us to manage all of the different entries across all the topics and to award grade boundaries for the different combinations of topics. But it's important that you understand that the individual question papers are exactly the same across the, the different routes A and B, and they'll take place on the same day. There are no changes to the assessments in terms of question style this summer, um, and there are no um, there's no more choice of questions in a normal series, so you can use all of our available past papers to help prepare for this summer's exams. Just a couple of minor changes that you need to be aware of. Now, there's normally spelling, punctuation and grammar or SPAG assessed in paper one. That's been removed for this summer just to make it comparable with paper two because of the optionality that's in place. So SPAG will only be assessed in paper three on the last question and it's worth four marks. The other change to be aware of is that the paper two British depth study and period study will be now examined on different days. They were normally assessed together on the same day. Um, so the papers normally one hour 45 minutes for paper two. And because they're being assessed on different days, we split that up into two separate exams, 55 minutes each. So now let's look a bit more detail at the timetable to see how that's reflected. First of all, where to find the exam timetable. So you can find it on our website, qualifications.pearson.com, under the support tab. And be careful because there are different exam timetables for UK centres, international centres, and different qualifications such as GCSE and A level, and for each exam series as well. Once you've found the correct timetable, it should look something like this. And as you can see, I've put on the screen the, the timetable for GCSE history for Edexcel. Now, there are the two different specification routes that I talked about, 1HIA and 1HIB, are both listed on the exam timetable, as you can see. Now, you'll be entered for either 1HIA or 1HIB. And as I said, these codes just help us to determine which option you'll be dropping this summer due to the COVID disruption. Now, if you look in a little bit more detail at the papers, you can see that paper one, that's the thematic study, that only appears once on the timetable, and that's under 1HIA. And this is because the 1HIB students are dropping that paper. All the other papers, they appear twice under 1HIA and 1HIB on the timetable. But remember, they're exactly the same question paper taken place on exactly the same day. So there's no difference there. They're just being put on there because of the two specification codes. So if you can see, I've highlighted on the screen there with a little arrow, paper three, the modern depth study, which for example is Weimar Nazi Germany for a lot of students. That's taken place on Thursday the 9th of June and it's exactly the same under the 1HIA code and the 1HIB code. So the important thing for GCSE history students to consider 
is which topic you'll be dropping in the summer because you won't be sitting all four of these topics. You'll either be dropping paper one, paper two, the British depth study, or paper two, the period study. You also need to check the dates of the exams really carefully and note that paper three will take place before paper two this summer. And if we just look at paper two in a bit more depth, as I said earlier, in a normal exam series, paper two British depth study and period study will be assessed together on the same day, um, but this summer they'll be assessed on different days um, and the exam time will, will be slightly different. It's 55 minutes for each paper, and that's due to the optionality in place for students to allow students to drop one topic. So if you're dropping one of the paper two topics in summer 22, make sure you know exactly which one so you have the correct date on the exam timetable. And just to be clear, I've listed the topics that come under each paper. So the paper two British depth study, these are depth topics such as Anglo-Saxon, Norman England, Richard and John, Henry VIII and early Elizabethan England. And the paper two period study are the period study broader topics such as American West, Cold War, conflict in the Middle East, British America and Spain and the New World. OK, I hope you found that video useful. If you need any further support, your teacher is the best person to explain everything about the Summer 22 exams. We do have a page on our website for students, parents and carers. I've put the link on screen. There are lots of FAQs about the Summer Series on the Joint Council website. You can see the link on screen. And finally, the government have released some guidance recently about COVID measures during exams this summer. So I've put a link to that on screen as well. You might find that useful. Thank you very much for watching and good luck with your exams this summer.